Hi everyone, welcome to how to troubleshoot a TP-Link PowerLine product. So, if there is no internet connection in your PowerLine network, two options we will share in this video are, one, troubleshooting when the PowerLine LED is on, and two, troubleshooting when the PowerLine LED is off. So, troubleshooting when the PowerLine LED is on. First, make sure your PowerLine devices are installed on wall outlets and not a power strip. And we can start rebooting. You can do this by unplugging the PowerLine devices, then plug them back in, making sure the PowerLine LEDs are still solid on. And then make sure all hardware connections are correct and secure. The adapter's Ethernet LED should be solid on when connected with a router. If not, try another Ethernet cable and check the Ethernet LED again. Check if you have internet access by connecting the computer directly to the router via an Ethernet cable. If there is no internet access, you may be experiencing a router or ISP issue. If there is internet, reset the PowerLine devices and configure them again. So number two, troubleshooting when the power line LED is off. Let's start by making sure your power line devices are installed on wall outlets and not a power strip. And plug your power line devices into the same room, preferably next to each other, and then pair them. So if they can pair in the same room, but the power line LED turns off when move one power line device to another area, this may be because they are on separate electrical circuits, or there are some high power appliances like a washing machine, microwave, or refrigerator preventing them from communicating. Try different locations or different outlets. Now, if pairing the power line devices using the pair button didn't work, Please try the following steps to pair them via the TP PLC utility. Download the TP PLC utility from www.tp-link.com and install it to your PC or Mac computer. Plug in the both PowerLine devices and connect your computer to one of them. Open the TP PLC utility and the PowerLine device you've just connected will show up in the TPPLC. Click on Add Device and find the PowerLine key on the product label of the PowerLine device. Um, on some PowerLine products, that might show up as password, so PowerLine key or password. Once you find it, enter the PowerLine key and click Save. Click refresh and it will appear in the utility now. Now these should solve your problems, but if still cannot be solved, please reset the power line devices, then pair and set them up again, trying different locations and outlets. And as always, feel free to contact TP-Link Technical Support for more help. Thanks.